Tuesday. Got back from Mexico last night. Kelly was like at the airport, guys, let's go to Pilates tomorrow morning. And I said, you know what? Let's go because it puts me in a good mood. It's been my favorite workout recently, especially in like the colder months. I find myself just craving Pilates. I finally got like a black wool coat and it's so warm. <laughs> Also, finally, was reunited with my favorite smoothie. Um, but welcome back to a week in my life. More like a couple days in my life because I am here today. It's Tuesday. I'm here till Thursday afternoon. And I'm flying to Tampa for Gasparilla, which is this huge party parade in Tampa. I haven't been since high school. And one of my friends is on the Gasparilla court. And all of my like best friends from high school are going back for it and they convinced me to go. And I was like, I mean, I'm not gonna be mad if I have to be reunited with Finley, my dog, and all my friends and my family. So, got a couple days here. That's that. When I got home last night, Ryan was waiting for me here at midnight with not one, but two bouquets of flowers, which was so nice. I obviously did not unpack, but that'll be today's activity. Do you ever just take a shower fully planning not to get your hair wet and then halfway through the shower you're like fuck it and you just take off the hair tie because that is what I did and I decided it was a hair wash day because Thursday's a hair wash day. So today has to be a hair wash day because it's Tuesday and my hair was already like kind of greasy. So hair wash day, made another cup of coffee, third cup of coffee of the day. Good thing I drink decaf. And we're gonna get some emails done, kind of get my life together a little bit. Then, um, yeah, we have all kinds of random things today. I really appreciate y'all's feedback um, on my vlog, like two vlogs ago when I asked you guys just why you watch my videos, what you like in my vlogs. And it was really, really helpful feedback for me. And it kind of affirmed that you guys just like the comfort of talking to a friend and seeing kind of day-to-day -day life and like going out into the city, but also being at home. Cause I do, I love watching people's vlogs when they're at home and they're just doing stuff, but I do like showing my city life as well. So it was nice to hear that you guys pretty much just love my vlogs <laughs> and that's that. So thank you guys. Currently recording some ads for Gals in the Go podcast. If you don't listen to Gals in the Go, what are you doing? We, our episodes, this, these first few episodes of the new year have been amazing and I think we get really vulnerable on them. So go listen if you just wanna know more about my life. I'm holding it like I'm talking right now. Um, also wanted to shout out, if you live in Charlotte, Toronto, Philly, we're coming to your cities for live shows. Tickets are still available. I'm so excited. The live shows are like no other. It's stuff we do not talk about on our YouTube, on the podcast. It's exclusive content. It's such a fun time. Audience interaction, if you want to participate, it's a good time. It's a good girls night. So February 2nd, we're in Charlotte. February 16th, Toronto. I'm bringing Delaney and Caitlin. I'm so excited. And then February 23rd in Philadelphia. I will have a link down below, but you just go to galsinthegopodcast.com, click on live show tickets, and I'll take you there. It would mean the world to us if you guys spent the night with us and had a good time. So I'm gonna get back to this. Macy's newest restwear brand, State of Day. Just blue dried my hair. I'm still getting used to the layers. I love them. I love how they give some body to my hair, but I'm also still learning how to style them. But I love these front pieces so much. Um, this has been kind of my go-to little errand outfit because it still is put together, but it's so comfortable. So I'm wearing these at Gold Day jeans, Orion belt, skims, short sleeve top. I'm gonna wear my black wool coat over top and then I have some New Balances on. Headed to Cynthia Rowley in Tribeca and we're gonna do a fitting because they have an event next week. It's like, I wanna say it's kind of like a gala. It's like a nice event. So they're dressing me and I'm gonna go, my friend Harper works there too so I get to see her. I'm gonna try on a fit and then head back because I have a call soon but kind of gonna go now so I can get that done because I'm only here for two days. This bag has been the best thing ever. It's a dupe for the Kate one. Kate is spelled K-H-A-I-T-E if you guys have seen that brand, but it's from Zara. And I can't find it on Zara's website at all, but I found a dupe on Anthropology. I will have it linked below. It's pretty similar. I just love it because I can literally fit my water bottle on it. But anyways, let's go. I can't believe that New York Fashion Week is already almost here. Basically, New York Fashion Week happens 
once in September and then once in February. And it is so much fun, it is so exciting. And last fashion week, I discovered the beauty of hair extensions. Um, Clip-in hair extensions, because you guys know I've had real hair extensions in before. And then I just, I just like being able to do my hair in all different ways and with the extensions in all the time, it wasn't ideal. So I discovered these Luxie Seamless Clip-in Hair Extensions. I love these so much and these are perfectly matched my hair. I want to show you guys how I styled my hair for some of my looks last fashion week because I wore these clip-ins a lot and also for my 25th birthday party in September right after fashion week I used them and my hair looked stunning. I'll put a picture right here. So that's kind of like the look we're gonna recreate today. Luxie hair is actually the number one rated clip-in hair extension brand in the world. So you know you're getting some good stuff right here. So I'm just sectioning off my hair and you guys will see actually I'm gonna do one more little section here. The color is quite literally perfect and this is so soft. Luxie hair extensions are made up of 100% Remy human hair. And like I was saying, I just love these because they're temporary use and they don't cause any damage to your hair, which is my goal. I'm just in my hair growth journey, as you guys know. So this is the big daddy one right here. It's got the four clips. And the way you get it into your hair, I learned this a while back, you kind of go up and then pull down so it holds on to your hair. And these are very comfortable. They're not uncomfortable by any means. Just gonna get this first layer going. I literally do this in like five minutes. It's amazing. Boom. And we'll let a little bit more hair down. I've got like my tool belt right here. So when I was trying to find my color match, I sent them a photo, which you can do or you can use their virtual color match, which is actually really great. You can also order sample swatches, which I've done in the past. You can hold it up to your hair and see how you feel. All the sets though, when you get them, it comes with one tester weft on top so that you don't have to open the whole thing and you can try it on that way as well. Now we're gonna go in with a three clip one. I feel like some people get hair extensions to add length, which is what I'm doing. Some people do it to add volume or dimension. It's really up to you. This is a two clip weft here. So I usually put these on the sides. We're getting somewhere, folks. Gonna go in with another four clip. And that's how I did my hair for Fashion Week and I'll be doing some more looks for Fashion Week this year with it, my birthday. It's seriously so easy to do at home and like I wanna try waving my hair with the extensions and I feel like that'll be such like cute mermaid vibes. If you guys wanna try these for yourself, you can get 10% off of them by clicking the link down below and using my code Danielle Carolyn. I'll have it here on the screen as well. 10% off, seriously, cures the winter uglies. Like I'm gonna be wearing these out a lot more. It just makes me feel really confident and they're so easy to put in. They're not damaging to your actual hair, which is so exciting. Like I'm just gonna be staring at myself all day, so. some outfits. I picked out the most like all kinds of different genres of things. Like I love these pants. They're so sick. But then like this dress, this dress, I don't know. We'll see. Well, actually I got my friend Cass's outfit. My outfit is a sample and they're like shooting it this week so they'll messenger it to me next week. But I love it. I went with the black dress with the buckle straps. So cute. I asked Harper, I was like, where do you get lunch around here? Because I have like no groceries and I'm probably not gonna buy groceries because I'm leaving again on Thursday. And she said Cafe Clementine, they have like soups and sandwiches. I was like, that's perfect. I don't know much about Tribeca and it's always so cute. Back home, I got the chicken cilantro and lime soup. I gave you a little piece of bread with it and it's perfect for this gloomy day. It actually kind of started raining. I'm literally making another little mini cup of decaf coffee. <laughs> I have coffee on my pants. No, I'm about to get on a call in literally 30 seconds. 
Well, I just got hot coffee on my jeans. Shoot, okay, well, I have to change that. I'm about to hop on a call with my agents, like kind of like a yearly review or upcoming for the year because I have a few agents, so it's just nice to all chat and I gotta switch my pants. Okay, I switched into sweats and we will stain remove later. This is literally a six ounce little thing of coffee and I managed to spill it. <laughs> Call went great, I'm about to head out the door, but I wanna show you guys before. I'm getting my lashes lifted and tinted. It is like the biggest confidence boost ever. So this is a before and I'm so excited to show you the after. My lashes are so long. I freaking love it. It just makes my whole face look different, I feel like. I was just using this. You guys could really get a feel. I have two more calls. One's with Brooke for us to get some stuff done, but then the other one is for Gals in the Go. Um, so I'm about to hop on and then I still have it unpacked and I do need some dinner. I have um, like a pre-cooked meal in my fridge that I bought um, last week that I think is still good. So I might make that. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, went to Trader Joe's after my lash appointment because I really wanna try their protein pancakes. Kate Davis talks about them all the time and they look so good. And that'd be a fun little treat after a workout to make a protein pancake. It's a Tuesday. I thought Mondays are like the busier days at Trader Joe's. Oh my God. It was so packed. The lines wrapped around the whole place and it started at the entrance. And I only had like 10 minutes because I had to run back for this call. So I didn't even start shopping because I didn't, I was, I was just gonna get like some cottage cheese and the protein pancakes and something to make for dinner tonight. And then I was gonna eat my pre-made meal tomorrow, vice versa. So tonight I guess I'll eat it and then tomorrow I'll get some groceries or something. But crazy, I'm bummed. I was really excited to have a little Trader Joe's moment, but honestly I need to go and like reserve time for it. Cause there's so many new like Trader Joe's items that I want to try, so. Dinner tonight, I ordered from Eat Clean Bro. I ordered a few meals. It's amazing. And this is chicken, rice, and green beans. I'm so hungry, I'm so tired. So I'm gonna eat and just watch TV and like decompress for a second. Currently watching Inventing Anna on Netflix. Yeah. I've already watched it before, but I just love it so much. And now I'm actually about to plan out. I'm gonna do my morning routine kind of now, not my whole morning routine. I'm just doing my planner, which normally I do in the morning, but I have a lot that I need to accomplish tomorrow and Thursday. So I wanna kind of do it now so I wake up and hit the ground running. 10 o'clock, I'm about to go to bed. I'm so sleep deprived. So I'm gonna read a little and go to bed. I just finished this last night on the plane on the way back from Mexico. I started this on Friday when we got to the hotel and then I finished it yesterday. So I read it super fast. I knew Frida McFadden would do the trick. Any book written by her has me in a chokehold and it got me back into reading. I've been in such a reading, not even a reading rut because I'm not a reader, but I just haven't been reading. I haven't even wanted to at night. I keep wanting to watch TikTok instead and that's just so not good for my eyes. So I decided to pick up a Frida book and it did the trick. And I bought a few other books. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna start now. I think the book I'm gonna read next is this one. It's called The Wife Between Us by Sarah Pekanon. My favorite book of all time, I, I would say, is The Last Mrs. Parrish. Love that book. My second favorite book is The Housemaid. And Kellyanne was telling me that if I loved those two books, I would like this book, The Wife Between Us. It's definitely that vibe, she said. I think my friend Seb read this too. So I'm gonna start this tonight. I think it'll be a good way to just kind of chill out. Maybe I'll put some essential oils under my nose. Some lavender, I got this at Air One. <laughs> my like one Air One purchase when I was in LA last year. So good. I also thought I would just do a really quick little Skims haul. I've been obsessed with Skims lately. I realized I love wearing loungewear sets. Like right now I'm just wearing this and these like comfy loungy pants instead of sweatpants because they're not too heavy, not too light. So I wanted this to just kind of wear around the house and it's like cute, a little, little girly. So it's this gray cami. I'll have everything linked below. And then the gray pants to match. And they're like wide leg. I think you could even wear this to the airport or something for travel, but I think this is so cute. So I got that. And then I've had my eye on this nightgown forever. I got it in the size medium. It's just a black silk little PJ. I think this is like called, yeah, I think it's Hotel Skims. Skims Hotel, Skims Hotel. I got the black one. 
I love sleeping in stuff like this because if I'm cold, I have long sleeves on, but no pants. I really just hate sleeping in pants, honestly. And then lastly, I got just a simple black hoodie and matching black sweatpants with the wide leg because I love a wide leg. This is a great self tan or spray tan sweatsuit, but also I love during the winter time wearing a sweatsuit with like a trench coat over top or like a wool coat. I think it's a really nice layered look. Oh, and I bought one other thing. This just came in the mail today. You guys know already how much I love Orium Collective. Um, and she came out with belts in the last year and they just did another drop and I've been needing like a simple dark chocolate brown belt, so I got this one, and I'm excited. So there's my little impromptu haul. I'm gonna start my night shift here on my hatch. It plays relaxing music for like 30 minutes, or my night routine, I guess it's called. And I'll turn on the red lights here in a second, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning friends, it is Wednesday and we have a lot to get done. So as I told you guys last night, I went ahead and did my doing well daily journal or planner for the day. So I already knew what I had to do. And then this morning I made a priorities list. So I, cause I just have a lot to do, but certain things have higher priorities. So sometimes I do this, I'll put like literally one, two, three, four. So my mind doesn't have to think too much. And I'm like, okay, what's number one? Boom, so we're gonna do number one, which is unpack, because I have to repack later. And I also have like my makeup and hair stuff in here. I'm recording two episodes of Gals in the Go podcast today. So I need to like have all my hair and makeup stuff out. I need to figure out two different outfits because we try to, you know, switch it up because we do video now and we want it to feel like two different days. So um, yeah, let's get it going. I also decided to make some scrambled eggs. Before I unpack, I'm gonna listen to a podcast and just clean my kitchen is also just not where it needs to be. And yeah, this kind of stuff honestly soothes me. Sorry, you probably don't wanna watch me try to play. makeup, touched up my hair with just like a heated round brush. My layers definitely make my hair just look like I got to blow up more naturally because the pieces just kind of do their own thing. So that is nice. Growing with my layers. So this is one of the outfits I'm going to be wearing for the podcast today. We're doing one, just Brooke and I, and then we're having on a guest for the second podcast. And I think I want to wear this for the second one because after that, Brooke and I are meeting some people uh, the One Hotel Central Park actually for like a happy hour situation. And then from there, I think I'm meeting Ryan for dinner. So I just love this outfit and I wanna leave the studio in it. So this top is Revolve, Belt, Orium, Gold Day jeans, and then obviously a coat over top. But I think this is really cute. This is the top I'm gonna wear for the first podcast episode. We're actually doing an episode where Brooke interviews me and then 
in the week after that, I'm gonna interview her, which we've been wanting to do for a while, so I'm excited. I, I do know the questions, but I haven't looked at them yet. I'm just gonna glance over, just so I have something in my mind, but I'm excited. This top is from, it's off of Revolve. I think it's the brand Affirm, AFRM. I love it, it has matching pants, and then same jeans, obviously, for ease, and then my brown Nike Dunks. And then I brought the other shirt to change into and some like touch up makeup. I love this little song mont bag because I can zip it up. Zippity doo dah. Also got a Juice Generation OPP because of course. Because I didn't have bananas to make it myself, so. Anywho, I'm excited to go catch up with Brooke, record a couple podcasts, and uh, is it raining? <sighs> you hate to see it. walked in and Brooke also got Chick-fil-A, but she got yeah, fruit. I did. I did get fruit. Well, I wanted like a little like something. Yeah. Yeah. I got nuggets, so. <laughs> Love. First episode's done. Now round two. <laughs> we're home. We're at the one hotel. Waiting for our meal here or our drinks, but we're gonna sit here for now. Such a vibe. It smells so good in here. Hello! So it's a lot later. Brooke and I did both of our episodes. We had our friend Clark on, which was so much fun. And then Brooke and I scurried over to the one hotel. We had a meeting. And then Ryan and I ended up getting, I set a notification for like a resi notification for Sartiano's, this restaurant in New York. I've been dying to try his Italian. It looks like a really swanky hot spot. I feel like, um, there's always someone famous there. And it's in Soho. It's just a really cool location. I've just been wanting to go. I wanted to do my birthday dinner there. I've been interested. And so we were trying to decide where to go tonight because we knew we wanted to do like a little date night since I'm going out of town. And I was like, let me just set a notification for Sartianos and we like finished the podcast. And I happened to look at my phone and an 8 p.m. reservation opened up. I was so excited. I just feel like I'm really gonna like it. So then I was like, okay, I'll have time to go home and it was perfect because it was like raining all day and my hair got super gross so I just kind of touched it up. It was looking crazy. I just got a ton of packing done. I had like 45 minutes here and I took advantage of it. Elf just came out with these beautiful like glowy lip oils. I'm trying this one out. That's cute. It's very, definitely feel like a bougie lip oil but it's Elf so we love that. Dress, this dress is from a turn. It's just like a brown long sleeve. And then I did three gold bangles on top. Pop these boots on from Dolce Vita. And then I think I'm gonna wear my brown faux fur coat over top. And then I'm wearing my Elodie earrings from Orium. It works. All right, put this jacket on top. Let's go. was just fabulous. That place was such a vibe. And they had matchboxes. Sartianos is in the Mercer Hotel. So I'm just realizing this. Oh yeah, it says Sartianos on the side. So I got a new matchbox. My matchbox collection is full here. So I've started to have to go into overload here of some other ones. I could probably squeeze them, but I really just need to get another one. I need to ask Ryan where he got it. Um, cause we're going into overload here, which is exciting. Just about all packed up for Tampa, for Gasparilla. I'm basically bringing like all black, white, red clothes because I feel like I'm going to a Georgia game day, but everyone kind of dresses like in pirate theme, but like not actually, well, some people do dress like pirates, but a lot of people just wear like black, red, like that vibe. So that's the vibe I'm going for. And I was just pulling some selects and I keep pulling some jewelry that I'm gonna pack as well. And I just finished folding all of my laundry and I just need to put some a few things away and then I'm gonna go to bed. I'm so tired. 
Today was so busy, like back to back stuff, um, but it was a really nice day and I'm glad I got to end it off at Sortiano's. And I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thanks so much for watching, subscribe, and I'll see you guys very soon for another video.